Namishwai students Today we will discuss about water conservation With the growing of population the demand for water is increasing and water sources are being used up at an alarming rate hence there is a need to save water Practice of saving water is called water conservation The easiest way of conserving water is save water by turning off the tap when not in use repair leaking taps and pipes use a mug and a bucket to take a bath and to wash your vehicles at home watering plants before sunrise and after sunset to prevent water from evaporating first used a fixed quantity of water for washing apart from this we also have to save water from getting polluted as in the water bodies many creatures and animals used to live like fish crab crocodile octopus shark dolphin sea horse and many more who gets affected as a result of water pollution and die due to the lack of oxygen so it is our duty to save the water or conserve the blue gold water for our future generation so students we have came at the end of this chapter please read the whole chapter thoroughly and after that underline these important words in your book the first one is survival next resource perennial glacier brahmaputra urinate corrode ceramic impurities dikes consumption hydroelectric city reservoirs contaminated amoebiasis diarrhea jaundice and typhoid once you will finish underlining these words you will do exercise a and b in your book and after that you have to do exercise d in your classwork copy give today's date and the name of the chapter on top and start doing this exercise now exercise d distinguish between the following pairs the first one perennial and non perennial rivers perennial rivers are the snow fed rivers which have water throughout the year for example ganga yamuna non perennial rivers are the rain fed rivers which get dyed during the summer for example mahanadi and krishna tanks and canals large reservoirs of water are called tanks which supply water specially in rocky areas where it is difficult to dig wells and rainfall is seasonal a channel of water that comes out from rivers is called canal Water from canals are used for irrigation purpose on plain lands. Now number 3 sea water and river water. Sea water is the large body of salty water. River water is a natural flowing body of fresh water which flows from the mountains or highlands. Number 4 dikes and dams. Dikes are the constructions that are built parallel to the sea to obtain the salt from the sea water. Dam is a wall which is built across the river to control the flow of river water. Water which gets collected behind the dam are used to generate electricity. Number 5 delta and river basin. The triangular piece of land 
consist of sand, silt and clay which is formed at the mouth of the river is called delta. An area of land around a large river with streams running down is called a river basin. So these are the five differences that you have to write in your classwork copy. In the next class when we will meet, we will discuss the answers of exercise A and B along with other two exercises. Till then, Namah Shivaya.